Extreme Fight Night is brought to you by Regal Car Sales and Credit, TNW Tire, Route 66 Harley Davidson, Cell Phone Rescue, Arnold Electric Inc., 97.5 KMOD, Apollo's Martial Arts, Coors Light, R. Turley Roofing Inc., John Christner Trucking, The Law Office of Jeff Martin and Associates, B and B Restoration, and Will Joe Interiors. This is kickboxing. Heavy weight kickboxing. Yeah, you know what's coming. Let's meet our fighters. First, coming to the cage out of St. Louis, Missouri. Please welcome Robert Morrow. All right, here we go for the big fight that a lot of the fans have been waiting for. Rob Morrow is, he is the destroyer. Veteran kickboxer, he's got a national left hand. 21 and 20, Myron, is his record. 41 fights, I'm sure. Maybe there's a give or take there too, it's probably more than that. 21 and 20, talk about the taxing that goes on to somebody that takes that, in that many fights. Uh, it's definitely tough on the body taking those fights, depending on how active you are. But uh, this is gonna be a good test for Hayes Wilson to see how he's gonna deal with that experience, which is what he's gonna need to be able to handle that next level. Some of the things you can expect from him is uh, he's a Muay Thai expert. He's been a slow starter in the past, and uh, he's definitely going to try and, and push the pace. And his opponent coming to the cage, pace. fighting out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hayes Wilson. Hayes the Hooligan Wilson, a crowd favorite, and has more knockouts than any other active Oklahoma fighter. He's known as a finisher. And if he wins tonight, from what we hear, Glory is going to be calling him, and he'll be up uh, going to fight in Chicago in February if that, if that pans out. So we'll just have to see how that plays out. I know that they're watching tonight uh, to see what kind of happens. That's, that's got to be an additional amount of pressure. Would you as a fighter, Myron, like to know before the fight or find out after? Uh, you know, it just really just depends on the fighter. I'm down for whatever. But with Glory watching you like that, there's a lot on the line. So it definitely adds to the pressure. And I'm, I'm curious to see how he's going to do tonight, handling this height advantage and going against the South Paul heavy hitter and Rob the Destroyer for us. Yeah, it's going to be a great performance. Oh, you even got a new look from Hooligan, who's known for his cornrows and times he spins in the salon with his hair. He has cut his hair off completely. It's now pretty skin tight. So. He got rid of the man butt. The, the man bun is all business right Thanks now. He's now high and tight. <laughs> ring girls. Here we go. Heavyweight, kickboxing, three rounds, three minutes apiece. Let's meet our fighters one more time. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, he's standing in the blue corner. He went into 214 pounds. Tulsa, Oklahoma, this is Robert the Destroyer Morrow. And across the cage, standing in the red corner, fighting out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. He weighed in at 248 pounds. This is Hayes the Hooligan Wilson. Our referee in charge of this kickboxing bout is the one and only Mr. Kevin Nix. All right, fighters, we already went the rules. I expect a good clean fight. Touch gloves, go to the corner, be warriors. Like Referee's ready. Fighters right are ready. I know the answer to this, but I've got to ask it. Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. Hayes the Hooligan Wilson in the movie tie, black, silver, and gold, and uh, Rob Morrow in the white and gold trunks. I talked with um, uh, Hayes yesterday, and he was super calm and ready. There's that big left hand from Robert Morrow. Yep, you got to watch out for that. If I was Hayes, I'd be staying outside uh, Rob's lead leg to stay away from that power side. Hayes has finished his last few opponents within uh, the first round and really trying to make a statement. You know, Hayes has just really a wonderful story in general. Went to the gym to try and get in shape. Oh, wow. Nice heavy shots. And decided to 
get in shape and started fighting. Fighting Lovett was a 408 pound guy. Now he's down to 248. Just a really great story from uh, Hayes the Hooligan Wilson. It looks like he's up. Uh, nice. There's a big punches. heavy punch from Hayes. That's what he's known for. He's got those heavy punches. Uh, when we fight each other, he hit me a couple times. And uh, definitely knew that I had to keep my hands up after that. Right now, it looks like uh, he came out trying to attack that lead leg. He's got Rob Morrow up against the cage right here. Throwing a flurry right there, which is what he is good at. Let's see if Morrow has an answer for him. He bumps knees there. Yep. Check kick from Morrow. Yeah, Morrow's doing a good job checking the kick, but he needs to get off this cage right here because that's where Hayes is going to tear him up. Watch for Hayes to get the clinch. When you see that, look for him to deliver some knees. Nice cut kick from, uh, inside kick from Hayes. Put Robert, the destroyer, on his heels there with that punch from Hayes. Yeah, Morrow's got that, those long arms, so he needs to keep... Uh, Hayes at the end of his punches and get that timing down. Oh, you can't ooh, nice. like that hey. big kick from Hayes the Hooligan yeah. Wilson. Burrow's firing back though, letting him know that he's still in this. Nice head kick though. It's not a kick you expect from a guy like Hayes the Hooligan Wilson. Yep. Less than a minute left in this first round. There he goes, attacking that lead leg again. A lot of guys, even Southpaws, aren't a lot aren't used to Get in that, that right leg kick. You can see it red on the inside of his knee right now. Oh, he just adds up. Nice high kick from uh, Morrow right there. Let him know he's still in this game. Uppercut from Hayes right there. Yeah, like I said, you can see that red on the inside of uh, Morrow's lead leg. And uh, one time when me and Hayes sparred, uh, by the end of it, my inside leg was purple from cut kicks. So those are adding up. They're doing damage. You can see I'm not trying to put too much weight on that lead leg now. It looks like he's having a little trouble with that leg now. Yep. He's staggering a little bit. Oh. There's that heavy right. And... Wow. Nice. Let's go to the... We're going to see the replay here in a minute, uh, Myron. But it looks like Morrow does this one thing where he paws a punch to try and bait him in for the counter and to get set up that left. That is not something you've seen very often. Let's, and and, and what, I, what I'm fascinated with, uh, Myron, is to have that mindset when you're getting a flurry of punches from someone like Hayes the Hooligan Wilson. Yeah, when you're, when you're in the fire with Hayes, you've got to stay calm or he's going to catch you. And as you see right here, you see Hayes getting on the inside, and you're going to see him get to work. Yeah, he's doing a job. There's those cut, cut, cut kicks that Myron was telling us about. And it almost felt like uh, Robert Murrow was just trying to stay out of the way there towards some of those punches. Almost like he didn't know what to do. And that's one of the things about Hayes the Hooligan Wilson is you can't figure out what his game plan is. He's a hard guy to figure out, isn't he, Myron? Yeah, he's a heavy puncher, so you need to keep those hands up and, uh, you know, make sure you don't get knocked out because it's very possible to happen. But he's doing a good job staying in it, showing good defense. So let's see how it goes this second round. Let's see the second round going on right now as Hayes the Hooligan Wilson in the black and golden Louis tie trunks and immediately goes after Mara the Destroyer. Loading up that uppercut. Nice. Nice. They're just going back and forth. Oh, you got to that kick and he's going to make yeah. you pay. Oh. He's up against the cage. And Mara immediately angles out of it. That's why the Hooligan's a, a fan favorite here. He has those hard flurries that he throws. But you still gotta watch out because you gotta watch out for that rear hand from Morrow and that high kick. Yeah, nice the, knee to the body. The left for Morrow is what to be on the lookout for. He's working that knee again. Oh, there's another knee, a leg kick to the head. There's some body shots, and those are brutal. Goes after the leg while he had him up against the cage. And when somebody's attacking your leg like this, you get so focused on it that you forget to put your hands up and watch out for the high head attacks. <laughs> like right there. Oh, nice. Hayes looks like he's completely comfortable now. Yep. Oh, now he's going to give some. This is where you got to watch out with Hayes. Yeah, you need to clinch. Slow him down because he's going to hit you. Oh, my gosh. He's, he's fighting back, though, but this yeah, isn't where you want to be. He's taking those punches from Hayes. Yeah, keep those hands up. Now Hayes, no, Hayes holding him against the fence. Oh, oh wow. there's a nasty one from Hayes. Oh. There's another one, oh, another wow. right. And they go back and forth, and Morrow's not giving up. 
The Destroyer's still trying to stay in it, but his zip is gone in those punches. And Hayes is not giving up. He's trying to finish this fight with every punch that he's got. And Hayes is still against the fence. And Morrow is just trying to angle out. Wow. And you see both fighters now exhausted. Yeah. What? What just happened? Well, Hayes Wilson is basically getting a heavy bag workout in right now. So let's see how that cardio is going to play in factor later. Oh, wow. Nasty hit from constantly just snapping his head back. Hayes' mouth is open. Oh. Another kick. Yeah. High kick from Hayes. Oh, there is a knee right on the forehead. Hayes, the shorter guy, but he's showing he can get that knee up the middle. Morrow tough, though. He's still in it. Amazing to see somebody take that many blows from Hayes the Hooligan Wilson. Yeah, that lead leg is hurting. It's purple now. Yeah, there's definitely some, he's trying to keep some weight off of it. Really, really good fight for the fans right now. Absolutely. Set, trying to set up that uh, uppercut. You can see the uh, lion fight on one of shorts. So you can tell he's got some experience on the high stage. And there's that cut kick. There it is again. Taking that left from uh, Rob Morrow. There's that big kick again from Hayes. Oh, wow. Oh. Whoa, oh. whoa, whoa. There was an, a kick after the bell. Yes. Again, just the, the second time we've seen that tonight. There's just so much confusion when the fight's that exciting. Uh, Myron, it's hard to uh, really hear what's going on, right? It's just the heat of the moment. Like, you don't hear nothing, you don't see nothing, you're just reacting. And sometimes there's late strikes to get in there. Third round from Hayes, the hooligan Wilson, and, and uh, Robert the Destroyer Morrow. And just a really great fight. This is going to be the test round. Those guys had to have exhausted themselves, Myron. Yep, they're both pretty exhausted right now. But those leg kicks are going to add up on Morrow. I can see him slowing down. And so I'm seeing. I'm curious to see if Hayes can capitalize on that. But Morrow still throwing heavy shots, showing that he's still in this game. And here on the replay here, you can see Hayes getting on the inside. A little dancing around. But there he goes, snapping Ladies his head back. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the third. That is a brutal punch to kick. And final round yep. of this heavyweight kickboxing battle. Make some noise. Third and final round, extreme fight night. Hayes the hooligan Wilson. It gets robbed the destroyer Morrow, and Hayes is talking to the destroyer. Oh uh, yeah, that leg is so swollen right now. Yeah, oh, you can't goodness. even see the muscle definition anymore. That's gonna be way bigger in the morning. There he goes trying to attack it, which is what I would do. I'd keep attacking that leg till uh, he taps out. If you're Hayes the Hooligan Wilson, what is your game plan in this round? Do you try to just endure the round? Because you've got those first two locked up? I would say keep working the flurries to the head like he's doing and uh, lay into that low kick, into that lead leg, because you can see he's hurting. He's not able to bounce off that leg, but they, he's still in the game. He has that experience. He knows how to survive, and uh, hit you with some pop shots and let you know he's still in it. Hayes is All durable. Right. He's taking some nasty hits from some big guys. Yeah. Both guys have really good chance. And one of the things that Hayes, he does a great job of checking kicks, too. So. Getting your, your kick checked is one of the worst feelings of the fight, because after that, you're not going to kick anymore. And Hayes, they're just kind of taking his, he's choosing his shots a little more carefully, it looks like, while the destroyer is trying to win this fight. Yep, I feel Hayes could get this TKO, or this KO with that, uh, with the low kick finish. As you can see, there's no bounce in Morrow's step right now, so he's hurting. But he's these tough guys still gonna keep coming forward. <laughs> A little spinning, spinning back fist. <laughs> yeah. Didn't expect that. Nope. Oh, they landed a little bit on the knee. He switches it to the outside. Yeah, Rob's hurting pretty bad on that leg. You can see it. Yeah, you can just see the muscle almost almost unable to even constrict when he steps down. Less than a minute left in the third and final round here at Extreme Fight Night, River Spirit Casino. Hayes the Hooligan Wilson against Rob the Destroyer Morrow. Yep, I'd have to give this fight to Hayes so far, but that's not enough with uh, all these scouts watching you. You need to win impressively. You need to get the finish because that's what people are looking for. 
He's got under a minute to get it right now. And so he's got to go for it. Good blocks there from, oh, oh, gosh. Well, Rob's no pushover. Uh, he's not going to roll over, oh, is he? He's hurt? I don't know oh. if he's hurt or not. Hayes knows that he's got to protect himself. Less than 20 seconds. Hayes asking him to come in. Because that tight kick. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you know what? It could have been those flurries from earlier because he was teeing off on uh, Morrow for a little bit, but now it looks like he's paying for it. Yeah, he's trying to oh, win wow. this fight in the very end. And that's the final bell right there. Nice. It's going to go to decision. What an amazing yep. fight. Clearly, 20 and 21 shows you can take some punches and some durability. What a really great performance from Hayes to Hooligan Wilson and Rob Morrow. Let's check the replay. And we see Morrow coming back with that high kick, and uh, he found some more success in that last round because Hayes was getting a little tired from those flares he was throwing earlier. Yeah, he got him right in the cup. Yep. Hayes is tough, though. He'll still keep coming forward. Yeah, just a really great performance from Hayes the Hooligan Wilson. And uh, you could, the, the flurry of punches. I mean, you said the scouts need something a little bit more, but he put on an entertaining fight. Yep. I know scouts love that, too. Yep, he did a really good job controlling the fight. Let's see right here, he's got a nice left hook right there. Just delivers there, and it, Hayes just feels comfortable with that distance, even with the guy measuring out the punch. That's some heavyweight kickboxing, am I right, Yeah, he's a uh, little bit of a shorter guy, so he's going to be doing better on the inside like that because he can extend all the way through his punches. Go the Let's go to the official call from Casey And the Casey judges Luke. score the bout, 29, 28, 29, 27, 29, 28. For your winner, by unanimous decision, out of the red corner, Hayes, the Hooligan Wilson. I'm here with your winner, Hayes, the Hooligan Wilson. What a great performance. Give it up for Hayes, the Hooligan Wilson. Tell us what's going through your mind right now. That was a great fight. Uh, clearly with somebody that's 20 and 21, he can take some punches and you unloaded on him more than once. Yeah. That was boop. That guy's tough. I'll give you that. I got him against the cage. I thought, well, I got him here. Let's give it all. I did. He took it all, so. You said something to him at the start of the third round. Uh, up on the screen, you can see some of your handiwork there. What did you say to him at the beginning of that third round? I said, you're awesome, man. You're tough. You want to hug it up? He didn't want to hug it up. <laughs> uh, all right. So I've been told that there's uh, something in your future. Do you want to mention that? Well, everyone's always asking me, what's next? February 16th, we're going to Chicago fight for glory. February 16th, Hayes the Hooligan Wilson makes his glory debut. Representing Tulsa, you better believe it. I'll tell you that new haircut definitely made you aerodynamic. You were much faster. Oh, was I? You want anything else you want to say to your Tulsa crowd? God bless you guys. I appreciate everything. I'll be fighting Catlin Morsano, ranked 12th in the world in glory. Let's make some noise online. Let's get that bastard out to fight me. Here's your winner, Hayes. The Hooligan Wilson! There's no one else who compares to Regal. They're the National Quality Dealer of the Year, and they have over 25 years in business. They've got low-pressure salespeople who want to get you into the car that you want. Regal Cars and Credit has a huge selection of cars, over 500 in inventory. They was real friendly and real helpful. Any questions I had, they answered them. Regal Car Sales and Credit. We got it. We got it. Oh, yeah. Why don't you try Regal? It's Regal. Oh, yeah. You're here about the car wreck? Yep. The name's Mark. Attorney Jeff Mark. The heavy hitter? You're the insurance guy. Time to pay up. How much? You best pay it all, and then some. Car wreck, call Jeff Martin. At 728-8888. He's the heavy hitter. You're not gonna shoot me, are you? No, I'm gonna sue you. Nobody messes with attorney Jeff Martin. Call 728-8888.
Even the king has a dark side. Meet the Road King Special, the stripped down, muscled up version of the American icon, powered by the Milwaukee 8 engine. It's good to be king. Harley Davidson.